tea. It's even more interesting when it is tasty, different, new and unique. I am going to be your host on the show and my name is Messi Godwin. Here on the show, as you know, we bring in the best of the best of the best. We bring in chefs from all across Africa to teach you how to make your favorite local and intercontinental dishes. On the show today, we have a chef that has come to cook a blast for us here today. And we know further ado, her name is Elias Precious Hema. She is a graduate from the Federal University of Agriculture at Biokuta Ogun State. She studied biological sciences and she is a, the founder of the Kindness Initiative and also the CEO of Bottom Pot Specials. She is here today to cook for us and of course she has been catering for all the foodies in the heart of Lagos. When we are back from this break we'll be welcoming the gorgeous precious. I'm as excited as you are to meet her so don't touch that dial we'll be right back. Oh wow, it's so good to have you here. Pleasure, and um, what I've heard about you, it's actually quite interesting. So I heard that you have a foundation called the Kindness Initiative. That's correct. What's it about? It's about helping children living in vulnerable communities. Basically. Okay. Yes. Oh wow, that's a good one. Thank you. And then you are the CEO of Bottom Pots special right yeah. i love that name because it comes with all the mende mende i mean the foods that you make are obviously going to be delicious okay so on the okay kitchen today you're cooking something for us yeah. and what is that oh, that's going to be um oha soup <sighs> oha. oha the evil people in the house please make some noise <laughs> Okay, so I'm seeing plenty of things that are not really regular. Okay. Please, can you tell um, us what you are using to cook for us? Okay, in making our uh, oha soup, I'll be using my personal recipe. Ah! And it might be um, kind of like strange to some people, but I believe in trying new, new things. things. And that is actually key yeah. because, so I'm seeing onions, and on a normal day, we are not supposed to use onions to make soup. <laughs> talk less of or her soup so i can't wait to see what she's about to do because it's like breaking the norm okay right um, yes so mm -hmm. um I'm, i'll be using onions because i would like it to give me that flavor and i've tried it i know that my mom used to say don't use onions but i always like to go out of the box to see what will happen if i use the particular yes. Um, What's the worst that could happen? We throw the food away now, right? <laughs> so I'm using onions for my clients and they like the taste and oh, okay. yes, it oh, gives that right. um, good meat. It gives you good meat. It yeah. gives you that unique um, taste. Wow. Yes. Okay. All right. And then what's this seed okay, here? This is Uzuza seed. Okay. When is it that Uzuza leaf? Yes. When you use the leaf and the seed, it gives it a traditional unique taste ah so that's like why she's regular. called bottom pot special now we get you yeah, <laughs> you're welcome so I, i'm adding periwinkle so that's strange but yeah why just eat a regular soup when you can you know have the I, I i think i've seen one particular oha soup like that and they use this there is this bigger periwinkle mm -hmm. called what's the name Golo Abi. I don't know, but this particular one, I don't really see it in Oha soup, so it's actually strange for me. A whole lot of things are strange, and I yeah. cannot wait. What to, all right, this was this okay? So, this is Ogiri. This, this is uh, like the crowning of the soup. So yeah, now, Ogiri, your soup will be bland and Bare. boring, and it's just ordinary. okay. So, this is what makes it unique. Without okay, this, your Oha will taste really good. Then, crayfish helps. In bringing out that native uh, feel. Feel. Yes. So without crayfish, you can't really get the traditional Local taste, taste uh, flavor of oha soup. Then these are beef stock to enhance the good taste that we're using for this soup. Then we have the uzuza leaf. This leaf is very, very important in making your oha soup. It's going to give it that distinct taste. Without it, it's just going to be a regular oha. And okay. we don't want anything regular. Yes, yeah. we don't. So we have our salt for taste. Yeah. Then the beef. It's always advisable to use goat meat when you're making or have soup because it gives you that distinctive taste. 
Then we have our Cameroon pepper here. Okay. Then dried stock fish, chicken seasoning. We have the um, stock fish here. We have the ogiri. Then this is the oha leaves, fresh oha leaves. Oh, it's always advisable to use fresh oha leaves when making oha soup. It makes it come out really nice. Okay. Then we have our red pepper, and this is palm oil. Then we have the homo. And okay. I think that's it. Then the curry called. Um, is that, that oh, one. wow. Yes. Okay, this is going to be a rich soup. Or her like never before and one striking thing i got is that she's using her own recipe that's that's that, that that's what makes a chef a chef for every chef we know they always invent their own recipe so i can't wait to see what chef precious is going to cook for us so uh, i'm going to let you do your thing right. and blow our minds away thank you, thank thank you guys you. so as you know, all you have to do is follow us on our social media handles on Instagram and on Facebook at Zoke Kitchen. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Zoke Kitchen. Like, share, and comment. And also our hashtag food with Zoke Kitchen. For every time you try the recipe or you recreate this meal, use our hashtag. It will make us reach you, it will make us see your post and definitely repost and converse with you in the comment section okay guys we are going on a break and when we are back chef pressures will be cooking all right guys okay so i'll be slicing the onion and um i'll be chopping the onions for the seasoning of the the goat meat so after that i'll have to blend the pepper so one thing about oha soup is that a lot of people have this meat that you, you don't use oha soup uh, you don't use onion while cooking oha, but I've already uh, discovered that that's not totally true. But it doesn't apply to me, and it's not a um, a rule that is set on stone. So if you would like to use onion when preparing your own oha soup, please by all means. If you and if you think um, you don't need onions, that's that's fine too. So I'll be adding onions to mine to help my meat uh get that taste that i'm looking for so i won't be i won't be using enough i won't be using too much i just use a uh, little so i think this is fine so trash so i'll be blending this um, pepper with the onion and my uzuza seed uh so i have to wash this So I'll be adding water to the blender for easy blending while I clean this wet. I add uh, so adding the pepper, the seed. I'll have to rinse this seed. I'm not really sure of it. Then the crayfish is already blended, but if you have your crayfish that, um, that is not blended, you can always blend with the pepper. That way it's easier. So always try to wash while you cook. It makes your kitchen, it keeps your kitchen clean. Helps your helps your cooking. So we're blending. Now. So I think this is fine. We'll have to steam the beef. 
stock. So when I'm steaming, steaming my beef, I always like to cook it with the pomo because it's tough. So um, I'll have to chop this pomo while I'm um, cooking my goat meat so that we don't have that strong uh, toughness while eating our soup. So here we go. Uh, I'll wash this. So I won't be adding water to the beef yet. I'll, I won't be adding water to the beef yet. I'll allow the meat to bring out its own uh, broth. That way, to give us that authentic uh, beef flavor that I'm looking for. So I'll just turn on the gas. While I add the pepper, and um, I'll be adding my onions as well. I'll be washing this so that I don't have to go back to it. Always good to clean your surrounding when you are cooking. Mix, mix the taste up here. So happy. So I'll add the onion to the goat meat stock now. And then my salt, beef stock. Just add. When you are putting your salt, try not to put too much because sometimes crayfish can um, can pass as salt too, so always try to not put too much salt in your beef seasoning. Okay, thank you. So, let's <clears throat> just stir. So I'll just allow this cook for a bit. So we'll allow this simmer for a bit while we'll um, look at our cocoa yam. We have like three pieces of cocoa yam here. We'll be using it as a thickener for our soup, for our oha soup. Some people use the already made, already blended dried one, but I prefer this one because it gives us that original oha taste. So we'll allow that smooth for a bit. While I cut the uzuza leaves, so I'll just wash it again. Chop. So while chopping your leaves, try to make sure that they are not really in big sizes because to just it will take over the oha leaves and make your soup look really ugly and tacky. So try, try to give it a very nice um, size when cutting your uzuza leaf. I won't be using too much, so I'll just use this uh, little. So the uzuza leaf is one of my cheats, cheat leaves that I use for my soup. You can use it for okra, egusi, comes out really well. You don't need the seed if you, you use the leaves really well. So something that gives you that unique flavor and most people will be wondering where you get your recipes from. They won't know that it's just uzuza leaf and the seed. So it's kind of like my secret recipe that I'm giving to you guys now. You can always try it and let me know how it goes. So I'll be adding the stock fish to my soup now uh, so that we can have that southeast flavor. You know, there are different types of oha. There's yoba oha, there's ibo oha. So I'm trying to make ibo oha soup here. So 
I'll be adding this now. Try to not make your stock fish take over or, or um, overtake your beef. Because it has that tendency to be all over the place. So try and measure up. Weigh it with your eyes and see that it's not it's not um, the stock the stock the stock uh, flavor is not taking over the other flavors. So I'll have to add a little water. I'm not going to be using a lot of stock fish because I don't want it to overtake the beef flavor. So you can just stir. Okay, so we'll be checking on our kokoyam to see how far. It's supposed to take like 15 minutes. Or well, let's see. See what's happening here. Don't have the right one to use, so let's just see. Let's check on our kokoyam to see if it's soft enough, I doubt. So just give it more time. Or how so doesn't take long. So while we are checking on the stock, we'll just clean up as we cook. So oha soup is good for uh, regulating your blood pressure. And uh, it's also good for, it kills um, salt roots. It's also good for your digestive system. If you're having indigestion, just take oha and 10 milliliter. So to add to our beef stock, I'm going to be adding this um, Tray fish and our Cameroon pepper. Okay, so I'll have to add the Cameroon pepper now with the um, stock cubes, the dry fish, our palm oil, and our pomo. Just add a little bit of this. this. can use any amount of stock cube that you would like, but I'll be using just a little because of the other beef and chicken seasoning that I'll be adding. I don't want our soup to be spicy. So I'll add a, a little bit of water okay, and then I'll clean up. So I'll be adding our palm oil. And I would like to chop this before adding it to the This should be added, um, this will be the last you will add to your soup because it's going to just disappear and we don't want our, our dry fish to disappear. So we're putting it as, um, after the leaves, um, we'll add the fish then, after the fish, we'll just add the leaves. So I'll be using just some of this for more, for the oha soup. Allow the oil to cook for some time, for like, let's say, two minutes before adding our ogiri to the oha soup. So let's check on the kukuyam to see how it's doing. Let's put this here. It's not tender enough. I'll just add water to this kokoyam because it's not tender enough. You need it to be very soft. So I'll just add some more water to it. So 
while I wait for this to soften, I will just clean, clean up and uh, return the cubes that I won't be using. I think I'm done with this. So, so I was talking about the health benefit of OHA soup. Apart from the fact that it regulates your blood pressure, if you have a patient or anybody with stroke, uh, I would highly recommend that you use uh, OHA soup and then um, Afang as um, their food. At least they should have it maybe like three times a week or so because uh, when my dad had stroke, that was what we were giving him and really helped him. So, so I'll be cleaning up. We're almost rounding up. Just need the cocoa yam to, to be soft then we'll add our ojiri and then we we'll, Chop our hands. So the first time I made Oha was when I was like eight. I was staying with this Igbo lady from Anambra, and she always make us cook Igbo soups. And I really used to like the taste. As a Taraba babe, I didn't. I didn't really get to try a lot of Igbo food. So it was always a it was always something that I always looked forward to. Like, I would like to go to Mama Chibi's house so that we can make Igbo soup. And that kind of like sparked my interest. And I didn't even know that I was going to be doing it as a business. So I must say that Igbo, Igbo have the best soups in Nigeria. Sorry, I don't know about people say um that it's a five bomb people, but I I will say my, from my own point of view, I think it's the Igbos that have the best soups. So I'll be checking on our cocoa to see if it's ready and also adding ogiri to our soup. So while adding your ogiri, make sure you don't add too much because it might just mess the whole soup up. So I'll be, I'll be measuring the required amount for this uh, quantity of soup. I think this should be fine. We'll just check. Just add. Then I'll add the periwinkles to it as well. Just then. I'll have to take this yam out so that we can pound it. Our soup is almost ready. Really. So the kokoyam serves as a thickener for oha soup. Other people use um, achi or whatever, but I, I think I prefer kokoyam. It gives us the authentic uh, taste. And it always works, it works for me every time. So. I'll cool it off here in the before peeling and then pounding. So while peeling your kokoyam, try not to put too much kokoyam in your soup because it's going to make it too thick. Well, I'll be pounding my kokoyam now. I think this should be enough. And if it's not enough, we'll just add more kokoyam to it. So, this, this, I have to wash this. So, try and wash your mortar very well because it covers the uh, dirt and debris. Let's try and wash, wash very well. So, we'll be pounding. Let's try and pound. Try and pound it till it's very smooth. And While 
adding your koya to the soup. Make sure that you don't uh, leave. This. You put it in lumps and make sure that you don't leave the koya itself in its solid form because it's just going to mess your soup up. So you add them in lump sizes and try and make sure that it's not too much. If it's too much, you just add a little bit of water and you're fine. So we're almost done here. Allow it to just thicken. While we prepare our leaves, so I'll be adding the oha leaves to the soup. That's the last thing we we'll be adding to our soup, and then add it. Chef. Hello, Messi. How's it going? Beautiful, fantastic. Yes, I've been seeing you doing your thing, and I'm excited to taste this food. Wow. <laughs> so while we were or oh, you were cooking before I say we were cooking. Yes. I heard you say there is um yeah, I heard you say that there is a way the Yoruba people they make their own or has to and then there is a way the people make their own or has to. What's the difference? Uh, the difference is that they don't add ferrico and uzuza leaves to it. Oh, okay, okay, so that's just it. That's just it for the difference. Yes, that's just the difference. Okay guys. That's the difference between the Yoruba people making their own oha soup and then the evil people making their own oha soup. So we are about to cut the leaves. Leaves, yes. Just That's cut. the last thing. Yes. When cutting your oha leaves, make sure you don't use knife to cut the leaves because they are very tender and once you cut it, it becomes it makes your soup look really dark. The oh, leaf okay. starts to go dark. Okay. So you use your hand to just pluck it, pluck it and out shred it. and you shred, yes. Oh, okay. So I'll be doing that now before i make the powder yam okay and that's that about the that's that about the soup is ready. ready so our food will be ready in so many times we want to break and when we are back it's time to devour the food yes you are going to devour it because this food that i'm perceiving tastes so yummy <laughs> so yummy so strong. Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles on Instagram and on Facebook at Zoki Kitchen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Zoki Kitchen. Like, comment, and share. Please, please use our hashtag, Food with Zoki Kitchen. I mean, let's have a conversation. Talk to us on the comment section. We are ready to chat with you. We want to know what you think about our hassle made by Chef Precious. I was about to say something, but no. <laughs> you are going to hear what I'm about to say. Well, once you come back from the break, don't you go nowhere. Welcome back, guys. Ooh, this meal look delicious. I can bet it tastes as delicious as it looks. Thank you, Chef Precious. You're welcome. Ah! I can't wait to eat this food. Now what I'm going to do is wash my hand and um, get back. So Chef Precious, Lovely. you are a Taraba girl. Yes, I am. Why are you not making too much in kappa for us? <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm expecting that if nothing I would do. Well, um, I'm a Taraba girl that grew up with an evil woman. And like I said, from when I was eight years old, I really love the evil dedicated to my auntie. So I'm going to marry an evil man, of course. <laughs> ah! I didn't mean when I said that to you. You marry an evil man. It sounds like she's taking, so forget about it. Oh, no, I'm not taking. Just. Mm -mm. <laughs> Projecting. Yeah. Mm. And then, this meal is delicious. Mm. Oh, boy. Show me my looking to mock it. It's sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh my Jesus. This meal is delicious. Mm. So 
You know, something comes to my mind all the time whenever I think of chefs and cooking in general. Yeah. So I wonder why we have cooking competition. Now, this is not to discredit cooking competition, but I'm just thinking. I'm thinking out loud. My mind is just going very well. So I'm thinking, why, why is there cooking competitions? I mean, everybody cooks what they feel like is good. So discrediting someone else's efforts or ideas, I feel like it's not, it's not so nice. But I'm just wondering why, like, is cooking competition, is it necessary? Well, um, I would say they should have cooking collaborations because everybody has different um, talents and skills. Yeah, I think so too. Yes. I might want my oha to, to be, uh, a little bit less spicy and maybe without all these uh, Mm-hmm. While another person will want all the and all the stuff to each other. But I the think... flip side to having okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. But the flip side to having a cooking competition, I think it stretches people. Yeah. yeah? Yes it does. But well, I think we should do this to the audience. Okay. To our fans, to our followers, our subscribers. I think let's talk about it. What do you think? about cooking competition for me i think it is a painful thing because imagine <laughs> sweating it in the kitchen then you come and tell you that you just gonna fight i will fight hey <laughs> hey i will fight because i know i put my sweat into it so guys tell me what do you think like is cooking competition a necessity is it necessary for me i don't really think it's a necessary something but yeah that's it so guys follow us on our social media handles on Instagram and on Facebook at Zoki Kitchen. Drop your comments, see what you think about this. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Zoki Kitchen. Like, comment, and share. We will definitely respond to you. And use our hashtag Food with Zoki Kitchen. So, this is the end of the show. Chef Precious was amazing. Thank you. And she's the terrible girl I was to marry. <laughs> I will not forget that. <laughs> Thank you for coming Thank on the so show. Much for and this me. meal was sumptuous. Okay, um, if anybody wants to get this food, yes. how can they reach you? Okay, you can go to my Instagram handle and follow you can follow me at Autopot Special. Uh, just drop your request or your order there and I'll receive it. Okay, you've heard that just go to Bottom Pot Special yes, and she's Instagram. going to attend to your stomach flow. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for staying to this point. That means you were enjoying it. So we'll see you in the next episode. Don't go nowhere. Bye.